सी एस आई एन एट एग्जाम और एनी सच एंट्रेंस एग्जाम क्वालिफाइंग दिस एग्जाम इज नॉट नॉलेज प्रॉब्लम इट्स मोर ऑफ अ स्ट्रैटेजी प्रॉब्लम हैबिट प्रॉब्लम एंड अ सिस्टम प्रॉब्लम ना वट डू मीन दैट let me explain many students who are just getting started with their csi and net they think and focus they think and focus on only one thing knowledge how much more knowledge they can gather and imbibe probably that will help them qualify but entrance exams are not like university exams and that is why whatever you studied whatever knowledge you have is not going to help you it's a knowledge problem no it's a planning problem yes it's a habit problem yes it's a strategy problem yes only knowledge is not sufficient you need to have the right strategy you need to have the right skill set to qualify this exam now let me give you an example if i have this pencil does this mean that i can write no i need to have the skill set to write the same way having a knife doesn't make you the killer same way having the knowledge doesn't make you a qualifier what makes you qualifier is this video wherein i'm going to give you simple yet lucid and very easy steps which you can follow to qualify csi in one go so to get started with i have probably five or six pointers very simple which you can implement and become successful let us get started with the syllabus always any entrance exam or for that matter any exam you have to start with syllabus but hey there is a twist here you need to know the exam pattern first the exam pattern is multiple choice questions three part part a part b part c and part a is general aptitude part b is direct question while part c is applied science based questions no so this is how exactly it works now when we know the pattern now let's look at the syllabus and let us look at what exactly we have in the syllabus what to study what to skip how much in depth to study these are the three questions you have to answer and to answer that we did a what to how to series and the link is given in the description you can check that out that will solve all your problem about understanding the syllabus and marking it so once you have understood the syllabus and you have marked the syllabus highlight which part of the syllabus is easy for you and which part is difficult okay start with the difficult one and you have to take the next step and the next step is taking help of a mentor okay now if you don't have a mentor don't worry biotechnica is always there for you but if you do not take up help of a mentor you will waste a lot of time in planning and lot of time in strategizing and that is where a mentor will come and reduce that time gap it is like you walk to the destination or you take a car the mentor is the vehicle which will help you achieve success faster i believe you should achieve success faster not waste a lot of time instead go ahead enroll yourself in any of the coaching programs which biotechnica has got that will definitely help you out now let's move on to the third step which is planning right how do you plan so create a study plan and don't just create a study plan create a studying habit create a system of habits around you so that you can implement that plan and to help you do that we have a csi net master planner link is given in the description you can download that and you can follow that for the next 4 months and it will definitely help you guide you to achieve success remember it's not the mentor who is going to write the exam it is you who is going to write the exam so you must implement the study plan and that is where it comes the next step which is gathering study material okay now i remember when students uh, used to come to me earlier to gather study material i used to give them a list of standard books and of course biotechnica's books and that was sufficient but in today's era there's a lot of misguiding happening in the study material part compared to any other era so what is happening is there's lot of free stuff on the internet many student think that those free stuff is going to help but those free stuff was never created to help you qualify it was created to help you you know probably it was just a advertisement of a coaching institute free stuff is never reliable you have to always remember this you can never be born for free and you, anything in this world costs probably the free study material you are thinking is not actual study material it is just a shallow advertisement of a coaching institute instead invest in your education invest in your coaching invest in your mentor that will help so that is my next point point gather study material but from credible sources any source from the internet is not valid 
At Biotechnica, we have gathered 17 years of experience in designing, manufacturing and creating study materials and study tools just for CSI and exam. Just imagine, 17 years of hard work, all of that in one place and that is Biotechnica. We have study material, hard copy as well as soft copy, revision study material, which is called as Conceptica series, which is which has Conceptica Lite, Conceptica flowchart book, mind map libraries. We have concept table, concept wheel and all this to help you. So yeah, that is the point which I wanted to make, which is gathering the study material. Now coming to practicing regularly, which is the next step. Before you start the practice, make sure that you're doing the active recall methodology, which I have shared in one of my videos. Active recall methodologies will help you recall faster because when you are solving question, that only will help. So first practice active recall and then start solving, solving the questions. Now to help you solve questions, we have a big question bank, hard copy as well as soft copy books is available. That is called a Stuffnet. Toughnet question bank, which you can buy online from Biotechnica. That has all the previous year tough questions of CSINET and similar tough questions from Biotechnica. So, and those are completely solved also. You have the answer key and detailed explanation available. So that you can do. Okay, that you can solve. Now coming to the next part is after doing the practice, what happens is you have to analyze your results. So whatever marks you got, analyze where you went wrong, what went right and Analyze your strength and weakness. Which particular unit is your strength? Which particular unit is your weakness? Now, please make sure that you are plugging in the weaknesses. Okay. Strengthen your strength and plug your weakness. That's only mantra to solve this problem now. So now that you have all this ready, we have the next steps. The next step is staying up to date. You have also have to, you know, pay attention to reading research papers. Many a time part C question comes from research papers also that we have seen. So you can start having a habit of re reading research papers and that is where your mentor at Biotechnica will come handy. He will help you read research papers and read relevant research papers which can come and help you which the questions from those research papers can also come. So this is all about your preparation system which you have to build and a preparation habit you have to build. Now the last part which is very very important and that is staying motivated. Remember as humans we are emotional people right? Something goes wrong, we are demotivated. Somebody says bad things, we are demotivated. Somebody criticizes, we are demotivated. But if we are motivated, then only we can do positive things, creative things. And preparation is a creative thing. You can't just qualify exam by just thinking about it. You have to stay motivated, not just for the few hours or months of studies. You have to remember that CSI and it is a long term game. So you have to stay motivated consistently. And that is where I come into picture. I'm your success coach and a famous motivational speaker who can help you, guide you, mentor you, motivate you throughout your preparation plan. So here are the pointers which I wanted to share with all of you. If you are getting started with your CSI and preparation, remember there is a lot of free material available on the internet, but it is not going to help. That is probably some free ads of some coaching institute. You, are, you cannot become a Sachin Tandulkar of life sciences by just watching ads. Okay, you have to really get into the field and practice. And the best way to practice is to join Biotechnica. We're starting Shari Batch from 2nd of March 2023. And if you want to be a part of it, you can apply for Shari Scholarship. Link is given in the description. And that is where all the magic will happen, where our teachers and your effort, our time investment, your time and our time comes together, we prepare together and qualify. Remember, preparation is not a one-way road. It is a two-way road. You have to prepare, we have to guide, we have to invest time, you have to invest time and that is where this powerful combination helps you. Studying habit has to be improved, improvised and 1% per day you have to innovate on the way you study. You have to take help of flowcharts, concept table, concept wheel and lot of revision tools which Biotechnic has got and then you will see magic will happen and I am sure it will happen for you this June when CSINET happens for all of you. The notification is going to come very, very soon. Stay tuned on Biotechnica and stay subscribed because this is the place where all things biosciences, all things CSINET life sciences happens. Thank you so much for watching this video. See you soon in the next one. Till then, Namaskar.